Staples has found a new use for some of its stores, turning parts of them into offices. Staples announced a new partnership in Massachusetts with a company called Work Bar, and basically some of their locations are are now going to be carved up. And it's uh, this is something that hasn't made its way, Taylor, into the public markets in a significant way, mm-hmm. but it's something that we've talked about from time to time. Uh, Office sharing, uh, sharing resources, that sort of thing, and we're we're seeing it in major cities, and uh, it's pretty interesting to see Staples look at their footprint. I think this is a, this is a really interesting test for them. I agree, and it's seemingly going to be pretty easy. Both of the companies are have agreed to three Boston area locations. Uh, the work, you know, you're bringing in new foot traffic. Hopefully, um, they're office workers. You're working in an office supply store, so hopefully you bring in some new revenue on top of the rent that they're going to charge. The deals on on how much they're going to be charging haven't been necessarily worked out, but it looks like they're giving up around 10 to 15 percent of the f- average floor space of a staple store to to this um, new deal. Um, and they're following in the footsteps of, I guess, what Macy's and Sears have tried allocating some floor space, renting it out to other um, either retailers or other office space um, companies as well. So, it seems unique. The revenue has been declining the last four years. Cash from operations has been declining for the last four years. And they're still trying to close the Office Depot deal for $6.3 billion. So, um, at least they're trying. And it it seems like a, a low cost effort to bring in new foot traffic. They're not building new stores. Um, they're just reallocating the use of, of said stores that they already have in existence. So, I think it's a small bet that they could easily roll out across more than just three stores if it does seem to work out initially. Don't you think we're going to know this calendar year whether or not this works? Because yeah. if, if this test in just three locations, if this works, I have to believe before the end of the year they're going to be announcing more of these. I would think so. And I mean, I think uh, to Taylor's point, I mean, this is a low cost uh, bet on their part. I think it's one that you have to make in this space. I think the traditional retailers with their brick and mortar presence, it's it's not that that physical property is any really less valuable. It's just how you're using it. And and so a decade, two decades ago when when people were more apt to go out physically shopping and looking around in stores. I mean, that behavior has just changed dramatically here over the course of the past couple of decades. And so now you just have to figure out something else to do with that property. So you made a great point there with Sears. Sears tried the same thing, leasing mm-hmm. out some of that valuable floor to space. To big retailers like Dick's and even Whole sure, Foods and, sure. and a few others. And, and even you mentioned Dick's Sporting Goods there. Dick's Sporting Goods is doing something similar in that they have this ship from. Um, ship from store initiative now, where they're basically incorporating their e-commerce business in with that big physical infrastructure mm-hmm. that they already have in their stores. So if you place an order online, it's very possible that order would be coming from an actual Dick store right. instead of building like some new distribution center. And we've we've talked about this in MDP as well in regard to Costco. Because for all of Costco's strengths, it is it is the case that people are shopping obviously differently today than they were before, and and so we wonder over the next 10, 20, 30 years, will Costco perhaps look at tying up with other potential businesses to to form partnerships to be able to utilize that physical space to leverage it to 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 bring more sales through an e-commerce model? I mean, those are things that you have to try. Uh, because because you already have that big physical asset there, it is valuable. It's just you have to figure out different ways to use it. I think today than than you had to uh, before. 